Hello everyone, what's up and welcome to the Shiny Riker channel. Now there are some very important things I'd like to talk to you about before we even actually go into the combo tutorial. Now the first thing, thanks for all the subscribers for being here. Thank you for who have just joined us and who's been a long time supporter. Like respect for all of y'all because it's been a long time I've been trying to help the channel grow and it's not easy, trust me, to start off on YouTube and you're not promoting yourself, it's not easy at all. And for those of you who are actually on the Facebook page because it's not a lot I don't really post that often I only post important news like ban lists and such or worlds and those type of things but because I, if I had a lot more on the Facebook page I would actually upload there a lot more often now the next thing is that I have a regular day job now and the hours are rough on me so I'm extremely tired when I reach home so what that leads into is that I can only upload on weekends. I only really play Yu-Gi-Oh on Fridays, so it's not like I could get deck profiles that easily anyways. So I'll be only uploading on Sundays or when I have the free time from now on. Um, next thing, all my combo videos are 100% original. I came up with it on the spot, right? I do, I do my research, I look at OCG, look at some things, look at some plays, I test my deck online, real life. And I come up with all my combos originally. Now, why I bring up this point is that all of you can use the combos. They're here for everyone to see. But some people are owning it up like they did it. And I'm like literally the first person on YouTube to show that you can summon three monsters from the extra deck on the field first turn. Just the three monsters from extra deck combo. Now, like, Califek did it. And he said it was like, he did it. He, it was originally from him. Now I know he copied me, not because he came up with the exact same combo as me, because anyone can come up with that, but I knew he copied me because he said word for word explanation that I did and still did the combo wrong and still had to correct himself within the video. So I knew he copied me and there are people who confronted him about it and he just deleted it in the comments. Like you have 33,000 subscribers, I'm not even at half a thousand. The least he could do is put my link in the video like bro but anyways it's just so life is not just how people are I don't really have a problem with it and I'm going to go through the combo now now the first thing is that we're going to show you how to summon well not really summon but to have four extra monster zones um, sounds difficult and most of you might not know how to do it but let's go right into it first of all all you need is dragon shrine or ravine and either Destrudo or Dark Worm. Anyone is fine. Um, the thing is though, you'd prefer the Dark Worm to be the one that you shrine and send to the grave because it will use a normal summon and you don't really want that. So here's the video combo. First of all, we're going to use our shrine. We're going to shrine, discard Destrudo and send Dark Worm. Dark Worm effect, summon back itself and use effect, search for the gate zero. Now you're going to put gate zero in scale. It's important that you do it first. Then you're going to use your Destrudo to come back and Synchro Shokan into your Meteor in the extra monster zone. The Meteor will then bring gate zero. It doesn't really matter which position you summon it in. Then you're going to overlay Tomahawk. Now you, from here you can do the nightmare plays. I don't play nightmares. First of all, I don't even go to my way to get them because there's no real way to play them in my deck. It's just not enough space. So what we're going to do here is detach two, and then you can summon up to five monsters. Well, it, actually, it's not. It's not optional. It's mandatory. From here, we're going to link someone. It doesn't matter which one we do first. The Cleaford. Then we're going to go for Great Fly. Doesn't really matter. Actually, you could just summon three Great Flies and attack your opponent for game. All of them gonna be at 2,900, but that's not what we're here for. Then we're going to use the last two and make Proxy Dragon. Now, it was actually important on which side we wanted to summon the Clifford Genius in. Um, because we're going to make the Metal Tron. Megatron over the next side, and what that opens up is all four main the extra monster zones. 
So that's just a little quick combo what you could do. I just wanted to show everyone. And from here, I'm just going to show my deck profile because I made a little bit of changes and I'm going to go through it swiftly. Now we're going to go through this real quick. Before even that, I just want to say like, the deck is actually stronger than Straight Magician. It's way more powerful than Pendulum Magicians. The monsters are stronger. You get more value off your monsters, meaning like your Vortex, you consistently summon it back. It's harder to get OTK'd. Um, it's very easy to OTK. The deck has a lot of more advantages over the Pendulum Magician. But the reason why people play Pendulum Magician over this deck is that one, people are used to that deck, right? They don't actually know this deck is better than it because it actually sets up a three negate first turn easily all the time through hand traps. And I can actually give you more if you don't hand trap me. But the deck is actually really good. Uh, let me go into it. Triple Arc Dragon, two Odd Eyes, one Phantom, two Persona, one Dissolvo, one Minotaurus. Minotaurus might seem weird to you guys, and you don't know what it's in here for, but it was actually important because I don't really play a searchable Odd Eyes that can be summoned. It was important because he facilitates three things. One, he's a Dark. Two, he's a Level 4. And three, he's an Odd Eyes monster, meaning he's searchable. So what happens is that if you don't find a monster that you can summon with your Dark Worm, you can actually destroy something with Sky Iris and search for this on normal summon and go off. So he dares for that. And even um, you could have played the other level three, the scale eight, the other is, I don't remember his name right now. No, what that could have done because it was a scale eight, you could always scale it as you can scale this. But the other one is that it doesn't facilitate your exceed summon because it's a level three, not a level four like this. Moving on. Triple Chrono, one time Gazel, Harmonizing, Fang, two Poison, one of the most important cards of the deck, Oath, Shianke, Triple Dark Worm, two Gate Zero, one Jackal King. The reason why I only play one now is because I don't play the other Mythical Beast engine, and it's a fact that I might not always see this card. Now, you'll notice that Dark Worm isn't actually in my main deck and the reason why is that even though I showed you a combo with it I don't actually play the card because the 4000 life points cost is way too much for me and surrounded by a sea of trick stars I don't really want to do that especially going first moving on for the spells we have two sky iris two terraforming uh, it, let me find it faster which was actually important to me because I actually side secret village of the spellcasters so any deck that plays a lot of spell cards, they just lose to me going first, game three. Then we have Spiral Flame Strike. By the way, don't put in the Secret Village going second, um, game two. It's not a good idea. Because if the opponent get rid of your spellcaster, because remember, you're going to mostly summon dragons, they're going to get rid of you. They're going to be locked out of even scaling up if they get rid of your spellcaster first. Then we have Triple Duelist Alliance, one Pendulum Call, two Shrine, one foolish and that's it for the main deck um what it does for me is that because i was playing treacherous i took it out for the second terraforming because at the end of the day going first i don't really want to see treacherous trap hole because i want to combo off i want to find combo pieces and even going second like the meta is just so wild and so abusive like goki is abusing firewall that when you draw the treacherous at that point it just doesn't make sense Trickstars bounce themselves back. Like there's a lot of things going on that turns me away from playing the card. Then we have for the extra deck, two Vortex, Gatling Ghoul, Dragster, Meteor, and Bakugo. Then we have Nightmare, Duelo, and Rebellion. I obviously side my cowboy. I don't main deck it. There's no need to do that. Then we have Moral Leader and Absolute. And that's the next thing I want to bring up. You see, because I played Cowboy, um, and Gatling Ghoul, I can actually burn on my opponent in time. Now what happened is that you might not always be able to summon Gatling Ghoul. Like I said, they find a hand trap and stop you. What it enables you to do is that I play Minotaur, so I'll always, if I can't Gatling Ghoul you, I'm a million percent sure I can cowboy you. It's either one or the other, you're getting something. You might not get both, but you're getting something. And then for the extra deck, we have Megatron, Decode, and Electromite along with Underclock. Now I'm going to take an Underclock for Wee Witch. 
because the set has just been released like next week but we have sneak peek now we don't have sneak peek in my country so i can't really get it in advance that's just how it is so what happens is that i'm going to be playing wee witch and taking out on the clock because what happens to me is that in my metal down here in jamaica they're going to cherish me before i even play so what happened is that they're going to take out all the Electromites in my extra deck and I have to play without it. Now you notice Electromite is connected to this. I can't summon it without Electromite. That's why I play on the clock to get into this. And on the clock suffice as a way if my opponent corrupt or imble me, um, I can still just make this by just normal summoning and just like a Dark Worm making this and punch them down for game. Now what I can do is because that if your opponent takes out this um this is kind of a bad card especially going late down into the game because the attack points are too low because i have been attacked for 200 already and time was called and i lost the game for losing 200 life points that was bullshit but that's just how it is with wee witch you can actually just summon back wee witch and then it opens up two zones and you get to go off now that's it for the video thanks for watching rate comment subscribe and i'm out have a great day peace